So let us have a look at the numerical types in Python. So in Python there are basically three distinct numeric types which are integers, floating point numbers and complex numbers. Integers are nothing but numbers without any decimal point. So for example the numbers such as um, um, 1 or 2 or you know 100 or maybe negative numbers also minus 3 or you know or also minus 300 so these kind of numbers which don't have a decimal point they are actually uh, integers so let us um, there's a built-in function in uh, Python called type which basically tells us what is the type of a given value so if I pass a number it should return int which is nothing but the integer so let's try another one type of uh, minus minus 30 which should also be an integer so the floating point numbers are numbers which have a decimal point or a decimal part as well so for example uh, the numbers such as you know 1.2 or maybe 4.5 4.56 or something like that or even negative numbers minus 0 0.23 so these kind of numbers which also have a decimal part they are called as floating point numbers so let's see a type of a number you know um, let's call it let's declare minus 2.67 so it is a floating point number and the final one is the complex numbers the complex numbers have both real and imaginary parts so for example a number such as 2 plus 3 j so this is a complex number and a number such as 5 minus 2 j this is also a complex number So let us uh, write one example. So I'll just say type of I'll write one plus three j. So it is a complex type number. So now let us try declaring some numbers and perform some basic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication as well as division so let's declare a number a equal to 5 and uh, b equal to 10 so let us add these two numbers so c equal to a plus b so what do you think the answer is it is 5 plus 10 which is equal to 15 so let us simply print the output C. So you can simply write C instead of uh, writing print. You can simply type C. It will it will also print. So if you want to print, the value will be equal to 15. So let us try subtraction. C equal to 5 minus 10. So the answer will be equal to minus 5. So if we print the value of C, it is equal to minus 5. So now let's uh, check the multiplication as well so c equal to 5 multiplied by 3 which should be equal to 15 and for division we have three types of operators so if you want just the quotient so for example let me um,
So let me try to demonstrate this um, example. Uh, for example, if I want to divide these two numbers, 5 divided by 2, right? So if you want the quotient, so what is the quotient? If you want to divide this number 5 divided by 2, so it is 2 to the 4, right? So it divides by 2 and the quotient, the quotient is 2 and the remainder is equal to 1. So if you want just this quotient, so you can make use of double slash okay so i'll write c equal to phi double forward slash 2 so the answer that you get is 2 so the next part if you want to get the remainder so this is the remainder part if you want this part so you can make use of the modulus operator so it is c equal to phi modulus 2 so you'll get 1 and most of the time you want both either you want the number a floating point number right if you want a floating point number after the division so what I'm trying to say is um, if you're dividing 5 by 2 the answer actually will be in floating point uh, number it should be represented as 2.5 right so if you want this number this 2.5 you can basically write c is equal to phi simply uh, 1 forward slash divided by 2 so you will get 2.5 which is a floating point number we also have an exponential operator so what is an exponential uh, function do right so let me try to give one example of what exponential is so for example if you want to find the power of 2 to the power of 3 right sorry so if you want to write find 2 to the power of 3 something like that so what will be the value it should be 2 into 2 into 2 right which is equal to 8 so 2 to the power of 3 is nothing but 3 times multiplying the same number 2 so the value the answer in this case will be equal to 8 so if you want to do this kind of operations you have something called um, you have to write 2 stars so if you write 2 and followed by 2 stars and the power that you want to raise it with so if you have 2 to the power of 3 if you want to find 2 to the power of 3 you should give 2 stars after 2 okay so if I execute this you'll get 8 